Hey everyone, a very good morning to all of you. Myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So let's begin today's current affairs class. I hope all of you are aware of the live classes schedule for RDS Abhi and Abad and about our application. So guys, on this application, you get a lot of offers and the benefits offers as in features that we provide you on this application like your uh, live classes are there and the uh, information about the YouTube sessions and daily current affairs, everything is there on the application. What would be the kick if I tell you all the features? It would be more fun when you explore it on your own. Okay, so here we have the first question. Which of the following is the world's largest religious monument? So here guys, out of these options, option D, temple of the Vedic planetarium is the right answer. Now, where is it? It is in West Bengal. So yes, India is now home to the world's largest religious monument. And you would be very, very amazed to see the monument. Let me show you. So guys, this is the beautiful temple of the Vedic planetarium. And this is, guys, established by the ISKCON organization. Okay, which basically works to spread the teachings of Bhagavad Gita. Okay, so this follows the Christian tradition. Uh, this organization is gone and it has established this beautiful temple in West Bengal. So I hope that you will be good to see it and if you have a mind to see it, then we will discuss the news. So as far as the news is concerned, it is established at Mayapur. Okay, Mayapur in West Bengal. Now, this building also has the largest dome, okay? So, this dome is the largest in area in the world. This te temple will be the headquarter of the International Society of Krishna Consciousness, that is ISKCON. So, these were some of the facts related to this monument. Now, let's move on to the next question. <laughs> Name the operation launched by the Indian Railways to institute ensure the security of the passengers so here the right answer is operation yatri suraksha a very easy question i would say so this is the operation yatri suraksha which has been launched by indian railways along with the railway protection force and very easy its purpose is that is to improve the safety of the passengers so that they are uh, they are not looted during their journey okay we often find this thing happening during our train journeys that the luggage is missing or something is looted from us. So in order to prevent such happenings, this initiative has been launched. This operation has been launched by the Indian Railways. Apart from this, the Railway Protection Force is also implementing Seva Hi Sankal initiative under which it aims to serve the same purpose, that is to ensure the security of the passengers. Third question is, which state is implementing the Vidya Nidhi scheme? So here, guys, Vidya Nidhi scheme is implemented by Karnataka government, okay? Now, he is the CM of Karnataka, Baswaraj Bomai, and he has announced the extension of this scheme, the Vidya Nidhi scheme to the children of agricultural laborers so that they can get the scholarship for studying in the higher education institutions. Okay, So they are going to get uh, a scholarship amounting from 2500 to 11,000 so that they can hire, pursue higher education. Apart from this, there is nothing much. Vidya is your education, Nidhi is treasure. So what can be a better treasure than Vidya? So it is a very, very, I would say, a very uh, beautiful thing if you can teach to someone else if you know something if you have a group uh, of students or of your peers who are preparing for Nabat, SEBI or RBI and if you know them it would be really beneficial for you only if you extend your knowledge to them and discuss things because with discussions you get to know a lot of things which you were not knowing before the discussion right so spreading knowledge is the most important and most uh, valuable virtue that you can earn so do spread the knowledge and share this video as well with your friends because this is also a form of knowledge only even if you don't want to share it that is also okay 
but do teach what you know to someone who does not know it and who is in need of that that is a that is purely a virtue and believe me vidya hi ek aisa dhan hai jo baatne se kabhi kam nahi hota okay moving back to this vidya nidhi scheme so the amount of this uh, scholarship will be directly been uh, transferred to the bank accounts of the students apart from this the cm of karnataka has also announced to establish textile park now this statement reminds me of the pm mitra scheme under which the textile parks will be established across the nation and this scheme was announced in the union budget itself so here my question from you all is tell me the no, number of textile parks which will be established under pm mitra and i hope all of you have covered the union budget thoroughly by now because that is a short short thing that that will be asked in your examination so i hope you have covered it next question is where is maharashtra's first divyang park being developed so here do remember do pay attention to this fact that it is maharashtra's first not india's first okay this uh, divyang park will be established in nagpur now guys it is a very easy statement that the ministry of social justice and empowerment headed by virendra kumar is helping the maharashtra government to establish this divyang park in nagpur apart from this the ministry has organized a samajik adhikarita shivir okay so this is basically a shivir or a camp let me show you so i hope that you are able to see the picture even if it is blur but i hope you are getting the idea right so these kinds of camps are organized where in the assistive aids like wheelchairs like uh, crutches or the things which would be needed by the persons with disability or the senior citizens in their old age all of such assistive aids are provided to such people during these uh, camps okay and these camps are organized by the ministry of social justice and empowerment so you can clearly see that this uh, old man is getting this wheelchair and similar activities are happening the people are getting crutches and the children with disability are getting uh, your wheelchair i guess it's too much blur i'm sorry for that because i got only such pictures from the google and i pasted it i did not know that this would appear so blur okay coming back to this news now understand this thing that the samajik adhikarita shivir has been organized under specific schemes of the government so the schemes are first is rashtriya vayoshri yojana so under this scheme the assistive aids are given to the old people senior citizens and we have second scheme assistance to disabled persons for purchase fitting of aids and appliances scheme very obvious from the name itself that is to give aids to the people who are uh, who are specially able okay so that is the basic idea now these two schemes are covered in your government schemes document so please cover it from there thoroughly these can be asked from you and such shivirs are organized very frequently by the ministry of social justice therefore they remain in the news okay on which river is the atal bridge being developed in gujarat so another very beautiful monument that which i am going to show you in this video but first let me show you the tell you the name of the river so it is guys sabarmati river in ahmedabad where this atal bridge has been developed so let me first show you the picture so this is the beautiful atal bridge if you are a resident of gujarat and watching me right now so why wait you can watch uh, you can go to visit this bridge after your examination of course not right now so after your examination do pay a visit to this beautiful magnificent bridge uh, in ahmedabad okay so this is guys the atal bridge which has been inaugurated by the prime minister in gujarat when he went to gujarat for a visit apart from this kach branch canal of the uh, sardar sarovar dam project was also inaugurated not a very significant point here significant point is this atal bridge now one more thing was inaugurated by prime minister and that was the new plants of suzuki maruti suzuki so suzuki motor electric vehicle battery manufacturing plant so the foundation stone of this plant was laid in hansalpur gujarat and maruti suzuki vehicle manufacturing facility the foundation stone of this facility was uh, laid at tharkhoda haryana okay 
so uh, these two uh, plants were also uh, inaugurated or you can say foundation stones were laid the next question is which university has collaborated with atal innovation mission for the millet challenge for startups so again a very important question uh, millet challenge has been launched so first of all which university is this so guys agricultural university which is in karnataka so option b is the right answer here now let's move into the details of this news so first of all understand this point that a millets conclave was organized and this was organized by your nabad and university of agricultural sciences which is uh, based in raichur karnataka okay so uh, these two organizations have organized the millets conclave 2022 on the theme of making many millets magnets making millets entrepreneurs okay so that is the theme of this millets conclave 2022 and on this uh, sorry during this conclave only the finance ministry announced to give 25 crore rupees to the university of agricultural sciences of karnataka okay now this money will be routed through nabad because nabad is the refinancing institution of the government so through that institution rupees 25 crores will be given to the university of agricultural sciences one more thing that is the millets challenge now this challenge has been launched so that the startups can come forward and create technological solutions for improving the nutritional capacity of millets and solutions so that millets can be introduced at various le various levels in the meals like at the mid day meal level okay so millets guys is a part of your course serials and these are very very important for the nutritional uh, capacities for the human because they have a lot of nutrition in themselves and therefore india needs to focus on the uh, grains which are useful as far as the nutrition is concerned okay so that is the focus of the government of india right now and in order to push that forward this challenge has been launched and it will be launched under the atal innovation mission along with the university of agricultural sciences okay now the purpose is to develop solutions so that the profitability of the millets farmers can be increased and once their profitability is increased they are definitely going to more uh, so more and more millets and harvest them now the winners of the challenge would get the funding of rupees 1 crore the first three winners rupees 20 lakh the 15 selected candidates after these winners and rupees 10 lakh the other 15 candidates after these 18 people or the startups okay so that is all about the millets challenge okay various challenges hackathons and everything the government of india is launching the sole aim of that is to introduce technology is to get the advantage of technology to our side in various fields be it the defense hackathon be it the ifsca hackathon be it your payments hackathon rbi hackathon agricultural hackathon nabards hackathon many hackathons have been organized and this challenge is also a is also like a hackathon okay it is a, a, an open competition for all the startups so that they can use the technology and create solutions and this way the government can use that in the required field okay moving ahead to the next question which bank has partnered with the national payments uh, corporation of india to launch a wide range of credit cards on rupee network so here guys icici bank is the right answer however many such banks have partnered with npci but icici bank has recently partnered with npci for launching the rupee cards and one more important unique point of this partnership is that icici bank has launched the credit cards in uh, the gemstone series for example icici uh rupee coral credit card the word coral is a gemstone okay so the icici bank has launched the gemstone series of credit cards and these gemstone series uh, series of cards will be launched on the rupee network okay so that is the basic idea of this collaboration so uh, this is it icici bank coral rupee credit card is the correct name of the card 
and it is the coral, coral variant whereas ruby and sapphire uh, uh, versions are going to be launched soon do remember that these are going to be the contact contact less uh, contact less cards now these contact less cards are also known as tap and pay or tap and go cards so i hope all of you are aware of the functioning of such cards how do they function so basically let me show you the basic idea of these cards how do these contactless cards work so basically you have your credit card you show it to any pos okay now this credit card need not to be inserted or swiped across this pos terminal now what will happen through this contactless card you will uh, take the card and put it near this uh, machine 2 to 3 inches near this machine and this machine will use the rfid technology radio frequency identification technology or the near field communication technology in order to get the information from your card so it is completely a contactless card because now you don't need to even tap your card on the pos terminal you just have to bring the card closer to the machine and then from the evm chip that these cards have from that from that chip this machine is going to use the electromagnetic waves emitted through this chip and through that through those waves this machine machine is going to complete the transaction so it is completely contactless and it is just tap and pay or tap and go card i hope that now this card is clear and what is the need of this technology in the covid times we know what is the benefit of it but right now why are we pursuing this technology because the transaction time is very less it is very quick in nature and now you don't have to exactly touch so basically the the, uh, the physical contact has been removed so that is also a benefit because now the bacterial transmission is also less and one more i would say a new uh, technology or new advancement that has taken place in these contactless cards is that you can connect your cards with the apple application or your iphone because right now this technology is with the iphone and that too in the us not in india as of now but yes in us what do people do they they connect their cards with the mobile or with their smart watches and then they just have to bring their smart watches near to the a uh, machine the machine takes the information through the electromagnetic waves and then the transaction is completed so the hassle of taking the card with you is now completely removed so we can expect such a technology to come to india in 5 to 10 years probably or maybe 5 years uh, not more than that so when this technology would come in india then it would be a really really easy process for all of us to go shopping so that's the benefit of this Okay, moving ahead to the next question, NPCI International Payments Limited has signed an MOU with the Pay Expert for internationalizing UPI and Rupee payment solutions. In which country will Pay Expert launch these services? So these services will be launched in UK. Now, before moving into the details, I am going to ask a question. Tell me, in how many countries does India has India already launched the UPI and rupee services okay so you have to tell me the countries which have launched both upi and rupee or the and the countries which have launched only upi services so collective answer should be given by you okay do tell and the list is not very exhaustive there are a few countries only which have right now adopted the upi and rupee and uk has joined those countries so now uk uk is pay expert company now this is the pay expert the interface of that application i hope that this helps you in understanding the news better so this pay expert payment service provider has partnered with the npci international payments limited now rupee and upi services will be offered through this pay expert with, uh, in uk okay so that is the basic idea Next question is which company has launched a new investor education and awareness website named as Money and Me? So here, guys, the right answer is PGIM India Mutual Fund. So this has launched this consumer awareness 
सॉरी कंज्यूमर नहीं इन्वेस्टर अवेयरनेस वेबसाइट इन्वेस्टर एजुकेशन एंड अवेयरनेस वेबसाइट ओके सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम गिविंग दैम अवेयरनेस अबाउट द फ्रॉड्स दिस वेबसाइट ऑल्सो एम्स टू एजुकेट द इन्वेस्टर्स अबाउट हाउ शुड दे यूज देयर मनी फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट ना अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस आपका हैप्पीनेस प्लान इज अनदर कैंपेन लॉन्च बाय द सेम कंपनी एंड दिस कैंपेन एम्स टू प्रमोट द वेबसाइट ओके money and me so both of these campaigns have interrelated they are going to target the investors so that they can be aware and they can be uh, their aware, awareness and education in the field of investment can be enhanced last question of the day the appointments committee of the cabinet has appointed anand narayan gopal krishnan as a whole time director of the securities and exchange board of india for a period of 3 uh, 3 years with this appointment sebi now has four uh, now has the fourth whole four whole time members gopal krishnan is currently the professor at dash so what is the right answer here the right answer is option b sp jain institute of management and research so gopal krishnan is at present an associate professor in this university and now he has been appointed as a member whole time member of sebi so that is all about this news now guys last but not the least before saying goodbye to all of you let me show you this so i just read it in the newspaper today itself that this advertisement was displayed okay so from this advertisement only we have many facts to pay attention to and here i am teaching you the way you should look at newspaper okay i am not teaching you the news because you already know about this cap and i am teaching you how should you approach current affairs so i saw this advertisement amitabh bachchan rbi kehta hai and tokenization so what is it all about it is the rbi kehta hai consumer awareness campaign of rbi which is provided in 14 languages it aims to give information financial information to the people in 14 languages and when was this launched this is your question you need to tell me in the comment section so amita bachchan is the brand ambassador of rbi for this rbi kehta hai campaign and right now the focus of this campaign is on the card tokenization so i hope now you know what you have to prepare from this advertisement tokenization the recent guidelines on tokenization by rbi and if you have not covered it it is covered in our rbi 247 magazine as well as the playlist so you can cover it from there also or spotlight may be covered okay so that is all now i'm saying goodbye to all of you thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed and if you feel anything uh, that you want to share with me or if you want to give any kind of feedback you are welcome in the comment section below thank you so much for watching this video